Hello, I'm Mr. Nut, and I'm playing some classic Cartoon Network games for this episode of Let's Play Minis. So, let's see now. Arkham Asylum Patient File. Name unknown. Alias the Joker. Escaped, huh? Uh, apparently, he's gone on the guise of a legitimate businessman. He's purchased some stuff. Cool. Last night, the TV reception was interrupted, and a bunch of stuff happened. Okay. So, arrow keys to move around Batman, and um, he has three weapons, obviously, in his, utility in his utility belt, as you should know from Arkham Asylum. He likes to carry around as little as possible. So, um, yeah, cycle through with shift, and use a space bar, but then again, you know you're only going to be using one weapon most of the time. Oh, well, it also has a health meter on it, as um, in the show itself. And of course, check out Batman's awkward walk. And of course, they are throwing around those um, fish, you know, the smiling fish in the episode. I forget which one. So that was a rather odd um, like reference there. Yeah, Master Bruce, on this level you must neutralize the Joker's forces and disable all transmitters. Good luck, sir. Yeah, sure why not. Look, look, Batman, can you stop blowing things up for a second and try to take out these mooks? <coughs> it's, a good, it's, a good, it's, it's a good thing they don't exactly directly go for him. And they're also nice enough to go with the um, grid Batman stuck to. So yeah, now we just go to, to the bat signal and go off to the next level. Real simple. So, yeah, obviously um, all of his, the Joker's um, henchmen are clones. You know, just like that one episode where he cloned all these this, this one guy who was stuck walking in a grid. Right, hang on, that never happened. I was right about the fish thing. I seen a YouTube clip. Hmm. I mean, I doubt the son just looked at those sprites and just went, um, yeah, let's just go with that. The Joker sells smiling fish because why not? Right, onto the third one. Son needs to be springing. <coughs> Oh look, it's Raven! I mean Twilight Sparkle! I mean Timmy Turner! I mean Tara Strong! I mean, it, it's just hard to win, right? Huh. I'll get her, eventually. Heh! <laughs> Got her! Man, that has to be Harley Quinn at a lamest. Then, yeah, and then again, yeah, that's even compared to um, that time in Arkham City, was it? Where um, your counter for her was essentially just stepping to the side and she just falls flat on her face. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Now, one time you'll use any other weapon. We're against these things. Unfortunately, Batman has an obsession with blowing up those towers, so yeah. Anyway, the reason why you use this is because it's a bit wider in its spread, and that's just what you need against these stupid little things. So, yeah, gas grenades versus um, chattering teeth. Yeah, I need a few seconds left on the clock. Will I stop the Joker? 
Oh, I've just got one pair of teeth left. Oh, there we go. You got him! Now Gotham can safely return to its regularly scheduled program. Um, yeah, so is ever Jager. So that obviously means I don't get the game over message where I have to do an impression of um, the Joker. So I guess that saves you from that. Right then, next game. And now for Samurai Jack in Desert Quest. Really, how hard could it possibly be to, for him to get some other low quality music for this title screen? You know, like the Samurai Jack theme. Jack, 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 Samurai Jack. Or however it went. So Aku and his minions have attacked one of the local villages and some of the villages are in badly injured. Yeah, that's cool. But we're not here for the story. We're here for the Samurai Jack. Kicking butt. Say so I can jump with control. Shift with that and blah blah blah. Here's Samurai Jack in all his 16-bit glory and of course I get hit by the first guy. Yeah, I swear that doesn't normally happen. See, normally that happens. Excellent. So according to this website, um, this is the same coding as the Justice League game. So obviously I've got to play that next. Hmm. Well then, I guess you already know what you're expecting. So yeah, who remembers Sam good old Samurai Jack? Well, I obviously do. Otherwise I'd just more than bother playing this game. Um, yeah, this is, this is the show that, um, that managed to find a way of getting around the whole blood thing by having Samurai Jack get like, oh, I'll just call him Jack here, uh, get um, drenched with oil. Because obviously there's no, there's no regulation against robot oil, right? I mean, it's not blood. You know, I remember that episode where he was, like, he was absolutely surrounded. I, th I think he was surrounded by these bugs. And he managed to take them all down. And yeah, thanks to oil, they managed to make it as gory as possible while still keeping it, um, like, child friendly. Although, it has been a while since I've seen this episode. So I could be getting a detail wrong up here or there. Right. Sorry, so I thought there was a charge attack. What do you think about a different game here? And of course, you're now sh you're just now ganging up on me. Haven't you heard of Mook Chivalry? Honestly, it's like Mook Chivalry is dead. Like Batman's parents. Oh, attack against... So I had to defend myself with... Oh, right, of course. Huh, I could jump over him. That went well. Right, then let's whack this scorpion. That's obviously not accurate. It's like Aku has forgotten the reason why he flung him into the future. He can't fight him. Has he forgotten that Samurai Jack is a superior fighter? Well, he's not really demonstrating that right now because for some reason they've lost the ability to do this boss fight. Even though, of course, when I was practicing this game uh, a few days ago, I was doing just fine and Scorpion, uh, Scorpion Aku never got hit in me. So your fierce onslaught surprises the enemy. So Aku retreats, moving towards a nearby village. Oh no! The poor village! It has been ruined! Obviously, Aku did it. And it wasn't my fault at all. For a change. I did lead, kind of lead him here. Wait, actually, hang on. The intro said he'd already done this stuff. So I guess I'm avenging this village. Hmm. 
yes, get the teardrop, which will heal you, because teardrop, teardrop. I don't know, maybe it's like Phoenix Tear or something. This is supposed to be healing for some reason, right? Eh. I could just be getting things mixed up. Oh, oh there we go. Come on, die! Like that! Also, there's also a, a, a dive attack, if you really ever feel the need to use it. I mean, I'm sure it probably has a purpose, but I can't see what it is. Excellent! I can just keep on going. Forever and ever. Okay, well, if we make it to the next boss fight, I'll stop the video there. I mean, after I beat him. I mean, not the video, I mean this part. I'll move on to the next game. Bye, damn it! Shall for Aku's minions. I can handle his stupid little minions. Will they try this trick again? Well, it worked the first time, so, um. Obviously, sticking to your strengths. Good on you, Aku. Fight. I think you will know that without me even having to tell you. See? Lost. Game over. You have defeat been defeated, but not all is lost. Do not lose your determination. Yeah, I'm just gonna move on to the next game now. And now for the Justice League game, Wonder Woman and the Curse of the Underworld. Using music from... I, I don't know if this is like generic music or if this is like music legitimately used in the show because I can't remember anyway start game so upon returning to Themyscira despite being banished from there now Wonder Woman finds the island under siege by Hades and his legion of undead soldiers even though she already dealt with them you know with the help of those male heroes that got her banished in order to save her sisters, the Amazon heroine must battle the undead until she finally faces the Lord of the Undead himself. What do you mean, Hades? Yeah, control, one, move Wonder Woman with arrow keys. Uh, yeah, attack using shift and block using control and use the lasso of truth with the spacebar. For a grapple attack, really. <laughs> Yeah, of course, I pushed the wrong button right away. Let's demonstrate the lasso. See, at least. Let's, let's try it with the other, with another guy. We just want to say guys. Look at the. Look, they're obviously guys. See, when you successfully get a gra grapple on them, it actually does a bit of damage on them. See? I mean, I know I could use the block button more, but I suck at remembering to use that. Plus, it isn't one of those blocks that go as long as you hold down the button. It's, uh, I mean, it does hold down longer if you hold down the button, but it doesn't immediately go down. Here, give me strength. Come on! Ah, 
Um, ah, I, I can't remember all the things she said, alright? I've never ever at any point been an expert in Wonder Woman. I mean, hell, outside of Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, I don't really see much of Wonder Woman. So yeah, level complete, clear. Next level is a temple. Excellent. Yeah, these puny statues think they can stop one woman with her pathetic little swords. And their bolts of fire. Which of course they can fire out their shields. I mean why not? I mean, Wonder Woman has a lasso that forces people to tell the truth. So anything happens, can happen. Also those bracelets block everything. Except in this game I think they still cost you a bit of help if you get hit. No, no, they work properly. But the enemies still have plenty of room to hit you with. Yeah, once you put down your block. Huh, you missed. Of course you do that. Okay, basically just don't give those guys with those shields any distance at any point. And you'll be safe, I guess. Excellent. I bet you thought I wasn't going to use the lasso anymore. Well, you were wrong. So very, very wrong. I mean, good God, how could you bear being so wrong? You have disgraced your family by being so wrong. I mean, he says I could use it successfully anymore after that, but yeah. I mean, there's probably the people out there thinking, oh no, you're doing this all wrong. You've got to block more. No, there's all these times you could use that lasso. And, well, yeah. This is obviously looking from a point of view of someone who can actually play this game, or these types of games. I, in case you haven't noticed, am not very good at games. See, not for me trying to use the lasso at a really stupid time like that. I know I'm not just playing up for the sake of it, I mean, that would mean I have a joke ready for, like, m me sucking. Right. How many of these stupid statues are there? Anymore? Huh, X marks the spot. That means I'm off to the next level. Excellent. Yes, next level is the underworld. Mm hmm. Who are you guys, huh? This game knows variety, doesn't it? I like it, it's slightly more variety than that Samurai Jack game. Only slightly. And there's probably a way to get like all the way through this game without taking a single hit. But like I said, that would require me to be good at games. <laughs> you really think you can get past her bracelets? Which block everything because she's Wonder Woman. Right, more of you guys. 
Hmm. You know what would be cool? If there's a little feature where if you actually do say, here, give me strength into a microphone, yeah? You get a tiny boost to health or something. Yeah, uh, just this thing. That obviously would never happen. But I think in one episode, I think like Hawk Girl is like even wondering why she keeps saying that. Or um, in Justice League Unlimited. Uh... Oh, of course I remember. I forget her name now. Yeah, she stops going by the name of Hawk Girl in Justice League Unlimited. Also, I should note that um, in the uh, practice playthrough of this, I actually got up to Hades. Don't give up, Wonder Woman. The daughters of Themyscira need you. Ah, oh, don't worry. She'll be back. Just not in this channel. Anyway, um, next game. And now last but not least, Megas XLR vs. The Universe. Why? Because I dig giant robots, you dig giant robots, chicks dig giant robots. I mean, what's not to love about this show? So yeah, um, of course I'm going to play Coop, because why would you ever pick the other two? Uh, so yeah, missile cannons, yeah. Uh, I mean, not to say I don't like, not to say that I have anything against Kiva or Jamie, I mean, you've obviously just got to pick Coop, because he's the pilot. So yeah, um, cans that, special that, and that, that. Also, uh, i got to quickly warn you guys, I am not a good driver. Alright, so I'm not guaranteeing... Come on, don't stop now. What else you got? So yeah, I'm not guaranteeing any, um, good gameplay for this. Not to mention the fact that this is a one-hit kill game, and Megas is not exactly the most agile robot on the planet. Right, that's putting it mildly, really. Megas is like really, really easy to hit. I don't quite get why he's a one hit kill in this game. I mean, if you've seen this show, he takes like a million hits. And New Jersey always ends up being reduced to rubble. And of course, like the show, you have that thing against MTV. Which is, no, no, I mean, Pop TV. Not MTV in the slightest, and it has absolutely nothing to do with MTV cancelling a certain TV show. Nope. Oh, by the way, I, um, according to TV tropes, I mean, I don't know where they got this, their sources for from this, but apparently, like, you know, the show's create one of the show creators here, and, um, Toonami and this other guy, yeah? are um, trying to work on bringing back Megas XLR. So, you know, we may be getting our giant robot cars back. And then a whole new generation could learn why, you know, chicks dig giant robots. But for now, I guess we've got Pacific Rim, but I haven't seen that movie yet. I mean, I'm going to see it eventually, but hey. Um, oh, and also, I managed to, if you follow me on Tumblr, I managed to, like, find someone who made, like, a poster, or, like, Pacific Rim sort of style with Megas in it. <laughs> I thought that was pretty awesome. And obviously, a uh, link to my Tumblr is in the description always. Apart from videos beyond a certain point, in which case I hadn't had it that point, so why would it be there? You silly YouTuber. Alright. So yeah, apparently these guys are foolish enough to actually just stand around Megas. Yeah, they must be suicidal. Or they must be from out of Jersey. They obviously don't know about Coop's infamous habit of destroying Jersey. I don't know why I say infamous, as if this is a well-known fact in the show. 
In fact, have noticed how there's never been any official response to the constant destruction of Jersey? Or at least I don't remember there being one. Like, you know, a episode where Coop had to deal with the US government. And then realising, oh, hang on. That's a thing from the future, you shouldn't have that. Anyway, if, if you've never seen uh, Megas XLR, I'd recommend you know, buying an iTunes, the Xbox thing. Or if you can't do any of that, um, download it. I'm sure you'll find a place you can download it from. But yeah, this was an absolutely fantastic series. And yeah. And it really does deserve to return. I, I, yeah, it, it just, uh, obviously as long as it doesn't make a comeback like Teen Titans Go, yeah? I mean a proper comeback. I can actually duck under that even though he looks no shorter than him. Huh. Well, there you go. I mean, I'd never really used a duck until now, because I never thought I actually did anything. But hey, I was wrong. And if you really want to, you can go off and listen to that song from Adventure Time. I mean, you know, I might as well throw a reference to that, considering the fact that this is a Cartoon Network thing and all. I mean, this is a special about Cartoon Network games, not the classic one. Anyway, I'm not playing any adventure type games in here. Uh, what? Other giant robots? Very well then. Your giant robots are inferior to Megas. Well, okay, maybe if Megas wasn't piloted by me, then you'd be no match. Oh, yeah. So it's a good thing it can't accidentally blow up the crowd that's eagerly awaiting Coop. I don't think I've ever actually managed to make it this far in a game. I thought the, you know, the Let's Play curse was supposed to make me worse. But I'd normally I'd never really make it past level two or three. I mean I've never seen those robots before. Is just how far I'm going with this. And those ball things, what the hell are they? Well, doesn't matter. Got through. Oh yeah, level eight. Well, I got this upgrade, which did something, probably. I have made the beam slightly stronger, but not quite spread out yet. That's for a future upgrade, which I lost when I lost life health. Huh? Oh, I think I got hit by something, but I didn't quite see it coming. Anyway. That is all for now. So until next time, goodbye. Oh, and remember, all the games included in today's thing is are linked in the description. So yeah, um, goodbye.